uh, sword picking something like, wanting to pick something like a Maokai to be that front line, but he's not going to be able to as the Jace is going Down. to be on this Jace. Oh, is no. <laughs> level six, is, sorry, all in is level six. And uh, sword's going to flash before realizing that he's just dead. First blood yep. going over to all in. But didn't stay and now he's backing. And I understand why he doesn't stay Bob because I think, you know, Jelly with his ultimate, he just dies, right? If he stays under that turret, I... I don't think he can clear out the wave enough to to withstand a push under the turret and just a death, so... He should be able to, right? Like, they are in their power spikes right now with uh, Keen at level 10 approaching that better, but... At this point, it will be the Infernal Drake as the big time yep. comes in. That's the head, head buff pulverized as Yukal nowhere to go. He's going to burn down as Mystic's going to pick up that kill. Now they're going to... That uh, local gold for himself as she does slam her head in that turret. Yeah, I think the point... Take down this Infernal Drake, but... Can Afrika actually move in and start the team fight that they're looking for? Not if the Trouble Bubble is going to land onto Keen, who takes so much of his health bar sword, diving into the back line, but Spirit goes golden and flashes away. Preyseeker doesn't find him as the heroic entrance isn't in the right position. Sword just going to go down to Mystic, though, and it is going to be that four versus four. And there's the Fates call as well. Jelly does get a really nice head buff pole as Viper is still burning down to the Ignite, but that is a really good Justice Punch. It's all in. Will take down the Nautilus. Tarzan in a lot of trouble. The Ren stack should be pulled out. And there it goes. The double kill comes in for the top side. And Griffin a little bit slow on the rotation in order to stop that one as the Baron does spawn here at 20 minutes into the game. So well and truly in the mid game here. Top side. And Yukal's going to pick up that minion wave as all in's not able to get here in time. In their own jungle one minute ago. But now they've cleared it all out. Well, Jelly moving on in. There's the flash head buff hold onto three. Sword gonna get burnt down by Keen as well as the harpoons are landing. Mystic does find a kill in the back line. He'll turn onto the Drake as Tarzan's trying to run for the hills. Yukal doing the same thing. And as you guys know, he has no summoner spells and no chance to make it out of this one. There's the headbutt, delivers the kill beautifully. 13 of sword. And yeah, just Afrika as a whole really far up. And the cow once again lies in wait. There's the hex flash. Does find Yukal, who's not going to use the cleanse just yet. But there's the heroic entrance. Good night. Little Miss Zoe is Viper trying to kite this one out. Tarzan going to be going down though. A sword jumping onto Mystic, but he can't get through the lifesteal. As now Viper going to get cataclysmed. The winds of war will rage in the. The, the enemy team has no bait. So Jelly could have come from, you know. Krug wall. You gotta crap after that, to be perfectly honest. But uh, that one was a good and certainly a fantastic video game, as uh, some of you guys would know. Don't know whether Nintendo 64 is I, the i i store, i Apple store. That's the one. Yeah. You know, it's where the you I go. Store. You go to play the play the games. <laughs> and Griffin, the thing is, like, they don't have very much to get back into a game, right? A poke composition like this, poke and siege comps are very much finesse based. And you have to really outplay your opponent if they are ahead of you in almost any way. As uh, you can see, Jelly in position. There's another flash head buff pole, but this time Viper is able to flash out of the way. Fate's call used at exactly the right time to make sure that the cow does not, not seeming too worried about it because they know if they get through this uh, mid inhibitor turret, they should be able to move up towards topside relatively easily as Trouble Bubble will land. But Unbreakable Will is going to be available as there's the heroic entrance. The dive on top of Viper and he's dead. There is nothing that he can do about it. Tarzan is so squishy. On the backside of that combo, so. We have minions here that I think are gonna take out this turret. That's a little bit awkward. Gonna take yeah, it out really with awkward. nobody around. Right? Uh, yeah, maybe the one ocean Drake. For, yeah, there we go. As now Jelly has been caught out of position. Mystic needs to run over here. There's the heroic entrance. Somehow the cow still lives. And he's going to live for long enough for the rest of the team to turn up. Really good counter engage there coming in from Spirit. And both of the tanky boys. A Mystic with full build here at 34 minutes. This is uh, kind of a okay. uh, questionable teleport. It's an odd one. It. It's buying space because now, of he's course, he does die. have the uh, Infernal Soul. Does get himself in there, but a thousand gold going over to the Zoe is exactly what Drake a freak up here. Is. As they're looking at Sword now. Yep, they're going to get the Pulverize. There's the Equalizer Sword. He's just straight up dead. Um, he had no he right of coffee be. right now. He's yeah, not, he's he's not actually well. at his computer. Oh, there he, he came back. That was a really... He, they must have, like, one of the one of the water machines that has, like, permanent boiling water, you know? And makes his instant coffee. Yeah. His back pocket is that's a level 18 Galio. And does have a very, very large range on his heroic entrance. 
as they make a beeline towards this topside spirit. Ooh, wanted to get that Cataclysm on the sword. Not going to be able to, as there's an Equalizer just thrown into the mid lane. <laughs> Viper might just die, as uh, there's Righteous Glory out from Jelly. He's looking menacing on this cow, even though he does have the Moo Cow Alistair skin, which is absolutely adorable. Not exactly the most menacing, but having zero inhibitors, you can feel the menace here if you are a Griffin fan as there are so many Siege minions now moving towards Nexus turrets, and with this Baron empowerment, they are going to make short work of it as Mystic now diving on in alongside Spirit. There's a heroic entrance as Sword trying to be a frontline, but that is not his job in this composition. Double pulverize once again, as the Equalizer's back off cooldown somehow, and now Keen's just going to light them up. I'm not sure whether he still has full kill participation, but that will definitely be a very, very large number by the end of this game as they are heading towards 20 kills. He picks up the last one for himself. They're looking oh, to take down it. Tarzan and they do. That is going to be the ace and the game for a freak of freaks. Oh, oh man. Or not. We can have all sorts or, of or no stuff. No, they are just going to lock in all their own <laughs> champions. No worries. So that is going to be on in the mid lane. We've got Callista top Easy and options. Tarzan moving towards the top side. Keen going to move on out. But that's the flash from Sword. They know that Keen doesn't have his available and the Harpoon's landed. That is going to mean that Sword grabs the first blow. It's actually going to tip them off onto this as the smite was really close, to be honest. Yep, Piercing Darkness comes in. Dredgeline actually avoided there by a great devour from Jelly, but that might mean the end of his life, and it does. So Afrika do manage to pick up the Drake, but another kill. No pressure at all. He's going to TP now, though, as they're coming in here to try to fight. Oh, for the pillar just says no. As there's the Equalizer, it has to be warped on here by all of Afrika. Fate's Call comes out the center. Already removed from this fight, as that's a great ulti out of the Orn. The Face Trade Breaker on the four, though, as Keen is going to bite the dust. All in says, I am done with this team fight and he is going to get outside as Yukal had moved on in sword going to vacate the area and uh Shelly should allow them to get that first turret blood but uh you can see Griffin on the bottom as well and that would actually definitely even out the trade uh as far as giving away that bot lane uh tempo is concerned so there's that eco turret to be taken less than 1000 with that play just picking up the two drakes, but they are going to be collapsed upon here. Yep, there's the knockup on the Spirit King. Will be able to jump over the wall, but they immediately get rid of Tarzan, and the Fate's Call is going to be utilized. Sword <laughs> having to get out of there. And you can see that Spirit, he wanted nothing to do with this. Keen has a long way that he can run. There's no turret here to be worried about. As Keen walks down that red carpet, Sword realizes that he can't jump. And with Afrika now somehow picking up the lead, uh, they're not... Griffin? Griffin sent their jungler top instead of fighting over the ocean green. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. That I is am... a decision that can be made. That is just so bizarre. It's very perplexing, <laughs> isn't it, LS? I, it, Would you it's say that it's so peculiar, peculiar mm -hmm. at this point? And what a better chance well, than to uh, go after Sword. That's an equalizer. Tarzan looks for the knockup. Doesn't quite get it. And there's the Dawning Shadow. Tarzan goes into his ultimate. Should be a trade back of the kill as there's the ulti out of the on from downtown, in fact, is now Mystic looking to try and keep himself alive. Iro does the same thing as there's the killer instinct. Jelly going to devour Mystic to keep him alive. And in the end, it is going to be a one-for-one -one trade. Top for jungle. Yeah, the Griffin are able to stabilize as a team here in the mid lane. There's really no wave clear at all for Griffin. So they're just going to actually move in and try to die here. Yeah, face breaker onto Jelly. He's going to eat the gray health, but rather early. He's still just wandering out of this one as Spirit looking to try and collapse in. Teleport comes down as Keen has just respawned. He's looking to try and collapse. And remember, Fate's Call is still... No, it's not available just yet. There's a good pillar. That's going to get the flash out from Iroku. Three engage. Olin does have ultimate. You can see he's holding onto it for the moment. In fact, all ults are available across the board. As Yukal, perfect flanking position as he does pick up Mystic. Devour is fantastic though, and the exhaust is going to keep everyone alive. Hornhorn comes in, big knockup, but only on the sword. As the Drake is taken, Irove has no stopwatch. Fate's call now for the re engage, but unable to find Tarzan. Despite that being a decent pillar of filth, and Yukal finds himself on the run. That time around was uh, it's not very effective. We got a bunch of water type Pokemon over here, and the fire did really not that much. And the Devourer was perfect. Uh, the the troll, I was about to call him, the Trundle, 
uh, with the subjugate, you have Tom Kench, who actually has gold in the front. I'm down in spirit. Maybe a little bit hasty. He's going to start it off already. Now Griffin going for the engage. It's on to all-in, though. Not exactly a priority target. As Tarzan going to be taken down very, very low. Good equalizer this time, however. As Mystic gets himself the Dawning Shadow. All-in is still alive somehow, guys. Oh, he got it. And now the Ocean Soul comes in. And Afrika should be able to just roll over the top of this Griffin roster. Flash has to be used to get Tarzan out of the way. Meanwhile, on the bottom side, Viper uses his Killer Instinct, gets over the wall. <laughs> Flash from Jelly into the death chamber, but it's still going that, you know, Kaisa dream, which is always like the going to the back line piece. The flood of GG's probably came into the chat. Um, as you can see now, because Afrika were able to win that fight handily, they take the ocean soul, they have this inner turret, but not too much time left on the Baron buff, just 50 seconds. The pillar onto the majority of Griffin Abyssal Voyage to make sure that the Tom Kench is in position. As there's an equalizer once again, but that is not the one you want. That is purely defensive to try and take down the minions, but he's not able to get these siege minions that are still acting as a battering ram for the next 10 seconds. Onto this inhibitor turret, another minion wave on its way, but it's going to take a little while before it's going to get here. Two seconds on the clock, and it might just be enough here as a freak up. Myth Keen just wanders on in, we'll be able to take down the turret, and Griffin say, nope, no fight for us. They say, you've run out of Baron buff, uh, we're only going to take quickly if they're able to auto-attack their opponents. Now the Ornhorn comes in, we're trying to buy some space as another Equalizer is in a good position for Griffin, and Yukal does find his position in the backside, Mystic going to go golden, Aww. but the set is going to immediately die, it's a double kill. For the honors, Tarzan has to go golden. Viper dives into the back line. Can he do the impossible? The answer's no, because he's so sleepy. The exhaust on top of him is going to seal his fate against the Afrika Freaks. And now Keen says, this one's over, boys. I'm teleporting and I'm finishing this game. Yep, game absolutely over now. Jelly Keen and all in, going all in onto the Nexus. That will be Afrika picking up the 2-0 tonight. After that play, the equalizer was good that time, but that's what we call too little, too late. Was not able to do much as they're even going to stick around to Bully Sword a little bit more. Pick yep. up that kill once again. Are they going to stick around for Irove? Yes, they will. Got to pad them stats. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not going to be able to get damage. Nexus is not going to survive for long enough, so 7,000 gold to lead. As, uh, we